here we go <laughs> welcome and welcome back Pisces all right this is gonna be a weekly reading for you wherever you have Pisces in your chart thank you guys so much for clicking on this video go ahead and like the video hit the thumbs up subscribe as well check out my website Pisces I feel like you're toughing it out whatever that means okay I have to turn this over or it will distract me child okay whatever that means let's see Let's just get a general, um, let's get an oracle card just to see, check in on the energy for you, Pisces, and then we're going to tap in and see what you're leaving in the past and how this next week is presenting for you, okay? Okay, this is for Pisces, but yeah, you're toughing something out. Yeah, I'm getting tough Tony. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, I'm seeing the strength card. You're going to be dealing with a Leo or you have Leo highly aspected um, in your chart, okay? <clears throat> I'm also getting an earth energy, okay? Or um, somehow Leo is affecting your earthly realm or the earth, um, that portion of your life, that space of your life, okay? I hope I'm making sense to somebody like my... My Leo is, I have Leo rising, okay? And so that has to do with how people initially see me, perceive me, how I react and interact in new situations or around new people, this kind of thing. So for me, maybe it might be a new opportunity for um, a business endeavor, right? The earthly realm, um, but tapping into that Leo energy, that courageous energy, or just generally speaking, right? Leo is a space of um, being uniquely and unapologetically yourself, Pisces. And so, like I said, yeah, you're toughing it out, but you are still powerful through that energy. So whatever you're going through right now, all right? But you have bear medicine coming out. It's card number one. <laughs> Yeah, all right, what does it say? There is no tomorrow without the healing of the past. For in stillness you shall find yourself right where you are. Yeah, exactly. Okay. <clears throat> Let's keep going here, Pisces. Let's see what you're leaving in the past. Okay. This card is talking about you healing something. Like I said, a lot of you may have been going through some really tough things recently okay lately or right now even um and in the midst of that you're learning something about yourself okay what's pisces living in the past i'm smelling like um i want to say chemicals or i don't know some kind of fumes like it could be paint or okay i don't know what that is yeah the eight of wands it feels like okay Let's just see what that is. Yeah, you could be creating something, Pisces, or... All right, what's Pisces living in the past, please? I feel like you're inspired, okay? You're inspired again. I feel like, too, you're receiving some kind of recognition. Um, yeah, the lover's card. Okay, so your relationship has changed, or maybe there's been an ending in a relationship. What's underneath here? You have a fool. Literally, you've you've gone through the world card already. Now you're now you're moving into this this Aries energy, or you're dealing with an Aries. Maybe you're on the cusp. <laughs> That's what you're leaving in the past, though. Two major arcana. This deck has two lovers. I'm um, excuse me, four different lovers cards in it. Okay, bearing that in mind. That's what you're leaving in the past. Let's see. Let's get some more information on that. This is for Pisces. I'm a Pisces sun, if I didn't say that. Okay, I am. You have Aries, you have Gemini showing up significantly here. So I'm getting Mercury. Yeah, the Knight of Wands. It's a fire sign. And the moon there you are I feel like like I said something has created a spark in you <laughs> okay to go and create something else or try something else or um, do something that maybe others may or, or maybe even the old you would have viewed as foolish 
Okay, yeah, the Nine of Wands and the Lovers is here again. Okay. Let's see, Pisces. October 2nd through October 8th. I'm pulling out my little Hocus Pocus tarot. <laughs> okay. I've been hiding out with it. Yeah. We're, we've been getting acquainted. Alright. <clears throat> Show me Pisces energy, please, um, during this time frame that we've set. Pisces, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel as well, okay? I feel like, is that a Capricorn? Okay, so something about Capricorn energy or Capricorn season. Yeah, the King of Pumpkins and the Page of Potions. Alright, so... Hmm. Yeah, Capricorn or Virgo. The earthly, the earthly energy that we were talking about at the beginning of this. All right, for some of you, this could be even your north node that you're stepping into, um, or something that is changing for you around Capricorn too. But let's see. We're, we're show me Pisces energy, please, during this time frame that we have set toward this situation. All right, here we go, Pisces. Okay, I, I'm hearing you don't trust something. Yes, yeah, suspension. This is your energy. Sure, sure enough, it's the hangman. <laughs> okay, you don't trust something. You don't trust someone. You don't trust this offer that's that's coming in or someone's intentions or whatever. Maybe you feel like you're being fooled. You're you're trying to view something from all sides and opinions, perspectives, and and ways of viewing before you make a decision. Yeah, the king of pumpkins again. You want to make the best decision here for the future. For your future okay because hmm, yeah here's the seven of swords okay let's see what's the universe bringing in october 2nd to october 8th for pice you may not trust what someone is saying to you Seven of potions, yeah, and the three of lightnings. Lightnings? <laughs> Just lightning. And the strength card, there's that strength card. Here it is, Leo. Front and center. You're all up and through this, Pisces, and it's like, because now you have some level of awareness within yourself, you're looking at this situation differently. The universe is presenting you with some options, it seems. Tell me more about the Seven of Potions. The Eight of Candles, yeah, there it is. The seven of candles. The moon and the sun. Oh boy. <clears throat> okay, let's see. What's making Pisces uncomfortable here? What's making Pisces uncomfortable? attitude this person's attitude or somebody's attitude attitude doesn't have to necessarily mean that it's negative negative attitude your attitude is your belief system okay so it has to do with what someone um believes what's making friends uncomfortable here with this with regard to this situation the truth The Ace of Lightning and King of Cups, there you are. Okay. 
some self-sabotage involved here. Yeah, the Ace of Cups and the Ten of Wands. And then you have the Wheel of Fortune coming out here as well. Something about this is overwhelmingly uncomfortable. Okay, or you just, maybe you, maybe you have a hard time trusting this person or yeah, the lover's card again. Show me the um, Ace of Lightning, please. What is this? Awareness? Okay. The Three of Cups and the Star card again. For some of you, this could be a reunion of some sort or an apology even that's coming in from someone. It feels like whatever it is, for whatever reason, you're not 100% trusting it or trusting yourself with regard to it. Let's see. Let's get some closing messages of advice from you, Pisces, and then I'm going to get on out here. Okay. <clears throat> Do you Pisces to know with regard to the situation as we close out this message spirit? Anything that needs to be reiterated or that we just didn't get, child. As we close out this message from my Pisces. swords yeah so Pisces um, you are holding you back here okay this this does have to do with an attitude maybe it's yours or somebody else's but whoever this is this is somebody who's holding themselves back with the eight of swords yeah and the chariot somebody doesn't believe in themselves or believe that something can be successful or somebody doesn't see a way out here or they feel like they can't they're incapable with the tools that they have in particular. That's really what it is. All right. Somebody really doesn't understand that they are the magician. <laughs> yeah, the Hierophant and the Ace of Pentacles. Okay. Yeah, there you are again. The Hangman. Okay, one more. What else does Pisces need to go as we as we go? <laughs> it's a full moon, Pisces. It's a full moon. Yeah, use that to your advantage. Okay, I feel like too. Yeah, somebody needs to charge or recharge, or your crystals need to charge. Yeah, the five of lightning and the ten of candles. If the energy is off or this is a there's a lot of tension here um, in a conversation or somebody's really worried about yeah the king of cups there you are okay let me see. five of swords ten of wands there's so much pressure here okay I feel like there's a need to lighten the energy, cleanse the energy, or, um, yeah, I heard come at it from a different angle, okay, I don't know what this is referring to, but yeah, judgment, exactly, all right, I'm gonna leave it there, Pisces, you continue to tough it out, I love you, and I'll see you next time.